hello guys welcome into this another video tutorial in this channel so in this video i will show you how to create helix shape in revit so before we go straight to the tutorial i would like to ask everyone to please watch every part of this video because i make this step by step and don't forget to like share or subscribe so the first thing i will do is to open a family as my template into that helix shape okay so i just go into new family english so that is the millimeter and i just choose this uh, metric generic model okay open or create a profile okay into that helix shape okay so to create that one i just use this autocad okay i just go into file okay i just this acad iso okay so now i just uh, hit this f7 to remove that uh, grid into this uh, screen okay so the first thing i will do here is to command c for the circle shortcut of the circle okay and i just hit the d okay the diameter 5000 Okay, zoom, extend, okay. Now I just go into command B into your keyboard, okay. And hit the space. And double click this SW isometric set current apply. Okay. So now what I'm going to do now is to create the profile, okay. So, in order to do that one, you need to command he helix, okay, to draw the shape of the profile, okay. So, I just simply snap in the middle, go into the left corner, and back into my right, okay. Make sure that you snap in the middle, okay, and I just simply draw a helix uh, profile here okay so that is already i just choose only the default one okay so once you finish to create this okay select this circle okay and erase e for the shortcut in autocad okay and now you can go into or you can type with the v victory okay v as in victory for the view and I go, go into the right, set current, apply, and okay. So now what's, once you have uh, here in the right, you can go into this arrow. You can check this arrow down. Okay, and I just choose this uh, first option to that one, okay. And now I just simply command R, E, C, or rectangle. And I just simply draw a rectangle like this, okay? And I just simply select this, okay? The EXT for the extrude. And I just simply hit the P into my keyboard. Hit the space and select the path. And automatically... Okay, the rectangle is automatically extruded into the path alignment. Okay, so once you have uh, this uh, shape, okay, you can change it also by going here into your left corner. So you can change it into shaded. So this is what he look already. So now I just simply save this, okay, 
and I just simply shape it into my folder. Okay. Cut to rabbit. I just overwrite the other one. Okay. Okay, so that is the first step. Okay, you create a profile first into this uh, profile with extruded into AutoCAD and then I go back into my Revit. So here I am now in the Revit uh, family template. So uh, what I'm going to do here is to go into the insert. Okay, import CAD. And I just go into that folder. Okay, and CAD to Revit. And I just insert this. Okay, so once you have this, okay, you can select this and un unlock, then you can move it into that uh, reference line. Okay, you can go into 3D. So this is what you look here in the uh, Revit. The vegetation realistic is uh, look like the same into the AutoCAD, okay? So now what I'm going to do next is to select this and ex pull explode this. Okay? And you can select again. So you can see now the arrow. You can move it like that, but you can. You cannot because that is only the peaks, okay? So now what I'm going to do is to create now the uh, circular helix shape into this edge into the right part of this profile okay in order to do that one you need to go into create swap and here in the pick path you can see you can select it individual the hair okay you can select it the top one you can select the bottom one he even in the inside okay so you can select it like that so now what i'm going to do is to pick edge and i simply select it here okay and now i just simply hit finish and i go to edit profile okay go into circle you can set the radius of 200 okay so that is the profile already okay so this is circular one okay but so that is the topic now how to create the helix a shape using this profile okay so once you have this you can go to hit finish and hit finish okay so if i select this and hide this one you have already a shape like this very cool looking shape and perfect perfect helix shape okay so that is the step how to create that one Okay, and I just want to show it also the other shape by using this uh, profile from AutoCAD. You can do it also by going into create, sweep, blend, pick the path, and I just simply select it the top one and hit the finish. Now I just go into select profile one, select profile one, edit profile. Use the pick, okay. Change it into wireframe. Okay, and you can hit finish. Now go to select profile to edit profile. Use the shape to rotate it. 
Now you can use the pick line again and pick these. Okay. And you can hit finish and hit finish. Okay, and if you change this into realistic, you got another shape. Okay, so you have more option to create a cool looking shape using that. Uh, AutoCAD profile, okay, then in, insert it into your family templates, okay, so this is uh, the output of our topic today, okay, so that is the perfect shape of helix. I hope that everyone can follow the easy step what I did into this tutorial. And if you like this uh, tutorial, please consider to like, share, or subscribe. And so help me out a lot, especially everyone updated as I make a video tutorial like this. Okay, so thank you for watching. See you again in my next video.